Welcome back to the channel. It's a new day. I have just been having a super chill morning and I just love mornings like this. I love just being alone and for it to be silent. I've just been hanging out, doing my little morning routine. I took Nico on a walk this morning. I showered, changed, got ready. I'm trying to be more intentional with how I look if I'm getting ready and actually putting on a cute outfit and not just sitting in my PJs all day. I actually feel like my life has a purpose. Got kind of deep there, didn't mean to do that, but I'm just wearing this cute little outfit. I actually was so unsure about these pants because Uniqlo actually sent these to me. I was like, there's no way I'm wearing those. Like that's not my style. I wear them pretty much every day. They are the best pants for the summertime, especially for days like today when it's not too hot. It's like 23, 24, which to me is still kind of cold. <laughs> it's like windy, so an outfit like this is perfect. This top is also from Uniqlo. It's a little bit see-through if you wear white, but if you wear like a beige bra underneath, you're fine. I'm rambling. I wanted to show you guys an exciting package I just got in the mail. I made an order on Shein. I picked up a pair of flip-flops, but they just look like this. They're white. I did initially order the black pair, which I love so much, you guys. These are actually so comfortable. Usually, I don't like flip-flops because of this area here. I swear you can't feel the stitching underneath. I wanted to get them in other colors, but I had to refrain myself because I feel like black and white is just... It's good enough. I don't need more flip-flops than that. So I got these, these are 42. I also wanted to get a brown pair in those flip-flops, but they didn't have the right brown. I'm looking for a specific brown color. I don't think these are it actually. I bought this bag off of Amazon. It's just a brown side bag. I really love how simple it is. I feel like a brown bag just looks cute with any outfit. So I wanted to get matching flip-flops and Actually, this matches pretty well. So I really hope these are comfortable. I think that's kind of cute. I'm just in my era of matching my bag to my shoes. I just, I love doing that. I do not have a pair of brown flip-flops. So I got these in a size 40. Okay, they do fit, but I feel like this braiding might be a little bit uncomfortable. I really wish they had the right brown shade in these flip-flops because I would get these in brown in a heartbeat. I don't know, we'll have to see about this. We'll have to try them for a little bit and see if they actually are comfortable. If not, these are definitely gonna be returned. I also just wanted to quickly show you guys this bag that I picked up from Commence Clothing. They did actually send this to me and I just think it's the cutest little raffia lookalike bag it's definitely not raffia i think it's just like woven but it's so cute and i also feel like the flip-flops 
with the brown, that would be a look. Oh, okay. So I'm kind of nervous about this. I really hope this will be the right color. At the beginning of this vlog, I was wearing a jacket. It's kind of like a teeny dupe. It's actually from Shein. I'm obsessed with it. It's the most amazing fabric ever and it's so comfortable. So I really wanted to get a different color but i did end up getting this set it's from the brand glow mode it's honestly such good material you guys if you're looking for cheaper alternatives to workout clothing that are actually really good oh my god now that i'm looking at this i feel like this is too short for my legs it's just a really amazing fabric it's super stretchy this is the size extra small and then i got the matching jacket i feel like these were a little bit expensive for shein i mean obviously cheaper than lululemon but they're definitely on the pricier side when it comes to shein so just a heads up but it just looks like this and it has zippers in the front zips all the way up and it also has thumb holes. I think it's so cute. I'm so excited. I love matching sets. It's like my weakness in life. I'm very excited about this. Off the shoulder tops are so in fashion right now. I feel like it goes like this. I don't know. I'll have to try it on and see. I think I did get this in an extra small. Not sure. Doesn't say. Okay, but I'm sure it's extra small. So... Yeah, what's even going on right now? Um, I genuinely feel like this is the worst the closet has looked. So we got to clean. I'm not going to do a time lapse because I feel like I've done like 10 billion of these and it's pretty boring. So I'm just going to clean, watch a little vlog while I'm at it, and I will show you guys what it looks like after. All right, here is the after. I know it still looks a little bit messy, but that's just the way it's gonna stay. All the clothes are put in the correct spots. I'm pretty sure it's almost 2 p.m. and I haven't eaten lunch yet, so I'm gonna go upstairs, make some lunch. But before that, I wanted to give you guys a quick little update on Nico. I did make a vlog talking about how he was having some issues. <laughs> we did additional testing and basically found out that he has hypothyroidism. It's honestly, really sad good news is it can be treated bad news is he basically will need to take a pill every day for the rest of his life we'll see if his skin gets better i don't know if i fully went through everything but he also had a skin infection honestly speaking guys my vet is not the best i switched to a different vet when i noticed nika was having all these issues I've just had all the testing and everything done by them. I just wish I didn't switch. I'll be honest, it's it's honestly been such a headache dealing with these people and they're very well known. So it's kind of sad because you would think that a very well-known vet would have their shit together. But basically, I'm not trying to bash them. It's just, it's, it's just been... A struggle trying to figure out all these issues and trying to deal with that and making sure that I'm getting the proper care for my puppy so I'll be honest I'm smiling and I'm talking to you guys normally but I think about it every single day it makes me really anxious he's just experiencing a lot of hair loss so it really worries me i hope it's not an underlying issue i just thought i would update you guys because i know i did do a vlog talking about it briefly if you guys were curious that's what's going on i'm gonna stop rambling that's the little update for my puppy you want to say hi to the vlog say hi say hi to everyone he's so sleepy right now hi guys it is later i had my meltdown <laughs> i'm just kidding it wasn't a meltdown i just I cried. I did cry, okay? If you have a pet, you know exactly how I feel. Tonight, we are going to a movie with some friends. We're gonna watch Twisters, and I saw the trailer, and honestly, guys, I feel like it doesn't look that good. The main male actor in there, honestly, he's been in a lot of movies that I've seen, and I just think he's really good at acting. It was between Twisters and A Quiet Place. I've seen the first 
quiet place movie and honestly didn't love it it's weird because i don't like suspenseful movies but for some reason i watched that one it just was not good to me i feel like throughout the first movie i was really into it and then as soon as they showed the monster it was comical to me i don't know how to explain it. it just wasn't scary to me i was like what like huh that's why i didn't want to see that one because i feel like the last time i went to see oh my god i'm traveling but I thought I would do some makeup. I felt like I needed something on my face. So I'm just gonna do very light makeup. Honestly, who cares? Like going to a movie theater, it's not the biggest deal. I'm just doing it for myself. I honestly just, I just feel like putting on makeup right now. And it's a very weird thing because I usually don't like putting on makeup. We're gonna try it. We're gonna see how it is. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm not expecting anything extraordinary but it's just something to do so that's what we're doing i'm just gonna put on a little bit of bronzer this is the patrick ta contour duo i'm feeling so much more human now i'm just gonna do a tiny bit of blush the movie's at 6:50. i feel like we do have a little bit of time we're just gonna do a light <laughs> light this is definitely not light for blush i love blush so much it's so cute there we go okay I'm not gonna do a lip color, I'm just gonna do a lip gloss. This is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in Sweet Candy. Guys, they sent me so many of these lip balms and I'm so happy because I love them. So good. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Hi guys, we are back from the movies now. Honestly, it was better than expected. I don't know if I would recommend to go see it in theaters. I mean, I don't know. I feel like in the beginning, I was kind of like, okay, this is gonna suck. But as the movie went on, it got a lot better. I feel like if you're looking for a movie to watch that, you know, is good, not great, but good, I would recommend. <laughs> but I'm gonna go shower, take my makeup off, and go to sleep. So I wanted to end this vlog here. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.